Tacos, how are you doing? Let's do another pick and today is going to be what are they doing? Here we go. <laughs> so um, let's keep an open mind. Let's not be triggered by anything. Stay cool, it's just tarot as I always say. So let's do two pounds. We might develop or not. <laughs> You know, it's freestyle today, completely freestyle. And then we do a measure again. <laughs> Never mind. One, two, one, two. Pound number one, what are they doing? Ooh, ten of pentacles. Bam! Page of cups. Death. Very powerful here. Oof, damn. So we all know that ten of pentacles, generally, it's kind of like you see the potential of each other, you sense it, and then in the period of no communication or weird communication and then you can reconnect and this time you can co-create together it can be a business it can be um babies <laughs> it can be a love story but there is a moment of phase um sorry a moment of phase <laughs> we're doing so well for 30 seconds there is a moment of standby right <laughs> don't start Axel. don't start so there's an idea of rebirth yes that's what i'm trying to say here <laughs> Oh God, help me. Right, so yes, there's an idea of the way it was going, was not going at all, as you can see. So they have to obviously start over again. Maybe I should start this video again. <laughs> so they're moving towards you with an apology and opening their heart. How beautiful is that? Gorgeous. So then they can really reconnect and be that power couple, right? <laughs> Oh, and I have to giggle. This is insane. Okay, let's carry on. Let's develop because, hey, you know what I'm saying? Right? It's been a mission. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so it's been quite a few obstacles to get to that point. However, it's worth it. Okay, so, you know, stand by me. Please don't give up. <laughs> right, they have to move towards you. They have to. They have to cool it down at all level and open their heart they have to say what they feel they cannot just like oh pretend you don't exist because they know you there okay so let's not pretend anymore it's ridiculous everybody knows right so you are on an empress position male man as a matter is about being you know waiting for them to come back because you know you've done your bit you know so at the end of the day they have to prove to themselves and to you that they can actually move towards you so yes, they had to make a decision. Do I stay stuck or do I actually take a risk? Because at the end of the day, I'm in the middle of the road, I'm not going anywhere, right? Okay, definitely. There is enough for love. Boom, bada, boom. So uh, what they're doing, they're preparing themselves for this idea of like rebirth, you know, they may be clearing um, um, their life. They're, doing a, they're making some space for you so you can definitely have that uh, proper start because they did recognize you. They did, you as well. You had love at first sight, but it was maybe too intense and they had to back off to reconnect with the emotion. Maybe they were with someone else and they had to make that decision. Do I want to go down that road? Maybe they did hurt you and they feel the need to apologize to you. It has been a long, long process. Mm -hmm. But after the nine of wands, you have a ten of wands and that's when they have to drop somebody or something by the side of the road and think about Okay, what about me? What about me? What about, what about my... The, the, the <laughs> what about my own happiness? I'm taking a lot of responsibility um, for what? At the end of the day, it's my life and I'm still unsatisfied. So I'm going to follow my heart. And my heart is telling me this person is my person, right? So beautiful. So they're preparing something quite major, a comeback, all right? So let's have a major arcana. Okay, this is really straightforward. Let's not fluff around accent. <laughs> yeah the moon you bet it's very romantic there's also an idea of like um they feel the need to express is all those emotions where is this god all those emotions you know they need to say it they're a bit timid they're a bit reserved they normally don't speak about emotions they don't do emotion but when you have that level of emotion you cannot just deny it. so it's about like agreeing with themselves okay all those energy all those emotions that was being being suppressing because maybe oh my god i shouldn't do this now they're ready to come out and there's the only way they can feel their happiness and that's why it's been a bit of a battle for them to get to that point because it's not natural for them to express 
emotion and they were definitely not expecting to have love at first sight so obviously it's been like wow an explosion that they try to control but at the end of the day you cannot you know control love at first sight there's no way so let's have pile number two where they do win so the star ten of sword two of cups beautiful so they definitely appreciate that they have to reconcile with you that is uh, a no-brainer um it has to be done equally it has to be done with sincerity um i think that they've been through a lot of suffering here you know ten of sword a lot of betrayal did they not see you or, con or didn't <sighs> appreciate that that was it you know um they maybe stay stuck in a karmic relationship and they they couldn't maybe believe they deserve so much love but the thing is that's it you know the star is very much you both ticking all the boxes for each other but they may have seen you like a beautiful dream you know like uh, oh no i'm never gonna get there at the end of the day you know but it's okay i can stay day, still did what <laughs> Gear number two, except I can still daydream about this person, but you know, it's just going to be a dream. And then they realize, well, no, because I just have to balance my, my emotion and gain a bit of self-confidence and get on with it because I cannot forget this person. Of course you can't. So reconciliation and also accepting, okay, I'm kind of almost surrendering to my heart, to my emotion, to my love for you and vice versa, because you feel exactly the same. Okay. But they were very resilient and maybe too resilient for their own good. They took 10 sword for them to let go, you know, so it's a lot of sword. Um, but then again, after the 10 of sword, you have the ace of sword with a new beginning with clarity. I know what I want and I know what I don't want. So very powerful indeed. Let's develop a little bit. Yeah, communication is coming in and number eight, infinity number. So, you know, they're going to be much more focused this time because they want a second chance. They want to reconcile. So you say coming back is not to do the same mistake again. So they want to really push forward, push forward, push forward. They're very, how can I say, motivated and they're not going to flip around. So, yeah, they were on the fence for a very long time, but they had that, you know, that cup. They had so much emotion, but not doing anything about it until now. Yes, we enter a new chapter. They might travel towards you. Maybe they were busy traveling as well, so they couldn't really say anything. But during that traveling, they had time to think and appreciate, hold on a minute, this person is my person. I cannot be without that person, period. So they're entering a new um, a new chapter. They may also check you on social media a lot, be on the web a lot, because they just want to sense, okay, um, is it safe to come back, you know, because I'm not sure, but they're definitely traveling towards you. George is here, you can hear. Um, and so it's a transformation. They're traveling towards you, they're moving towards you from the darkness to light and serenity. And very much this idea of going to, you know, to see the light as another tunnel, very much here. Very much beautiful, very romantic as well as number six, okay? And the mind is in tune with the heart, which is absolutely stunning. So I have a major arcana here, where they do in pile number two. And then it's kind of straightforward anyway. Let's have a look. Justice, yeah. How many times do we have justice as well? Um, and yes, obviously they want to make it uh, right. They want to maybe, uh, let's get to the next level. Let's buy a house, let's move in together, let's get married, let's get engaged, let's just do something. Or maybe they have to go through a divorce in order to be with you, so be it. They know that justice has to be served. Maybe they didn't really treat you fairly. Maybe they feel like they have to at least express what they feel and then so be it. Do you feel the same or not? But they do feel that there is something quite special and unique between you two and it's worth experiencing. Beautiful. So on this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.